Uh, let's go and uh, speak to officials of the ECG in the region. Emmanuel Mam is the West Central, Emmanuel Ham is the Central Regional, Eastern Regional, I beg your pardon, PRO of the Electricity Company of Ghana. Sir, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you, my brother. What is the story that people are targeting your, your transformers? Okay, let me thank you for the opportunity. Um, recently, we have just observed a subtle trend that is creeping into our operational area. That's with the transformer tape that you mentioned. And uh, we have so, as we speak, recorded uh, eight attempts as of yesterday in the evening. We have about 10 attempts on transformers. Um, there are some unscrupulous people in the region to our operational areas. We have transformers that are pulled. Dead. Some of them were alive, some of them were dead. They were not having power. But the worrying aspect is they just visit our transformers in the evening and they bring the transformers down. They are only interested in stealing the copper windings in the transformers. And they have succeeded in taking away four copper windings. Then the the Hello, Mr. Ham, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, hello, Mr. Ham. Yes, sir. Your network is really uh, problematic for us. I don't know if you could reposition yourself. Now, while you do that, can you um, recount for us some of the instances and where this theft happened or this tampering happened? Yes, I can hear Great. you. Great. It's, it's better now. Thank you. So, you were recounting for us the incidents of theft that you have recorded so far. And and this happened, what, within one one week? Yes, we are talking about a state of, let's say, three weeks. Okay. Three weeks. We had attempts on eight transformers. So uh, after the Oyoko runabout incident, we were also shocked by another one at Suhum. That's around Pampanso number one. It's on the uh, main Suhum in Sawum highway area. They were able to make our way, take away some copper windings from that transformer too. And then uh, there were other attempts at Nyamikrum and then Kenke factory area. The thieves managed to bring the transformers down, but upon uh, suspicion from some people, they booted away and they left the transformers. They attempted to actually open the top tank and then uh, take away the copper winding. And then we have also had two incidents. Recent ones is coming from Kedi district, where uh, some two transformers, which were not inspected, uh, in areas that were dedicated for some companies, have been visited and vandalized. And uh, we have also had an incident where a life was lost in Kibi Amman from about two weeks ago, uh, there was an attempt on the transformer, but the one was not fortunate, and he suspectedly uh, fell and died with a cutter in hand. And the police have been uh, informed about all these inf uh, incidents, and we are expecting that the general public will help us to keep vigil on our transformer. Uh, when they usually see people who are not in our vehicles, who are usually not familiar. We have maintenance teams that go to the various communities. So if they see such persons and they are not the usual people, they can inform ECG office first, or they can even call the police and they question them. If they are not from our office, then we'll be able to apprehend such suspects who are uh, attempting our transformers. Usually, we build these transformers at a very high cost, and when they make away with these uh, copper windings, which are of lesser value to the transformers, it really has a, a toll on our operations financially. I see. Now, these transformers, I mean, I'm even scared to touch my meter at home. I am suspecting transformers carry 
I mean, kilowatts of 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 power, which can shock you or electrocute you to death. Do you not know have power running through them? How are they able to dismantle them? Yes, uh, I think four of them that they were able to take away were sort of off, but we still had some which were having power, which they managed to bring down, and then they were unsuccessful in taking the copper windings. When uh, residents around reported an outage to the ECG, that's around the uh, former ECG materials yard in Koforidua. Um, what we actually do around our transformers, we place caution signs, which uh, me, myself, that I'm working with ECG, I'm not even permitted to go near because uh, I am not having that technical know-how to go and manipulate things. But these thieves sort of have some knowledge about our transformers and they are able to bring them down strangely. So we are just asking. They bring them down even when there's power running through them? Yes, they are, they are able to bring some of them down even when the power is running. It, it's not that they, they, they wait and strike when there's an outage? No, they cause an outage in one instance, like I was saying, around the material yard. They were able to bring it down. The customers around reported to ECD and ECD officials made an attempt to go there and they, they, they booted in the process. So we are just appealing, like I'm always saying, um, we are not everywhere all the time. So the public should help us to keep an eye on our transformation. Now, is it possible that it's your own people who are doing this because they will know how to maneuver their way around transformers? I, I don't know if ordinary thieves will know how to steal we have the transformer. We have, we have informed the police. Our staff are disciplined and they are the ones who take the pain to build these networks that uh, they also know the value of transformers and they are very strict in keeping an eye on our transformers. We are not suspecting any staff yet. We are leaving that one to the police and then the public to help us. Um, we don't have an idea of how these people are operating. We only know that they are trying. And we know some suspected scrap dealers or those who deal in these copper sales are the ones who usually involve in such issues, but we will not want to jump the gun and then leave everything to the police. But our staff, we are sure uh, they are not doing such activities. These copper windings you talk about must be a very precious metal. What do they use it for? I have no idea. All that we know is they are only interested in them. They sell them as scraps to scrap dealers, and the value for these copper windings are lesser, lesser than the amount of money we used to purchase one transformer. Looking at the uh, street or market value of transformers that we use to serve our customers in the various communities. Thank you so much. Uh, please work hard and, and retrieve the stolen ones and also guard against the ones that are still installed. Thank you for speaking to us. Much grateful.